decompose myself. Put my hat on, my glasses on. welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a vlog style video because what I am doing today is today is Thursday and I have been as you guys probably know I've been rewriting my novel between us and it has been a struggle but at some point I turned the corner and it just became really really easy after I outlined after I did all the things that I should have done at the beginning of the uh, writing process if I just posted a video last week on um, how to rewrite a novel so if you have not seen that I will link it in the description box below for you guys to go check out but what I did as I always do or how I've been doing lately is I decided I, I use my book companion journal to decide what I needed to do, how many pages or how many chapters I needed to do um, every day in order to finish the manuscript, the rewriting and editing process by a certain date. And now um, I'm either going to finish today or I'm going to finish tomorrow. And as soon as I'm done, I'm going to be setting, sending it to the editor for her to get back to me. Uh, for her to edit it and then when she gets it back to me I'll edit it again and then the novel will be finished the novel has was already edited once but because I did the whole rewrite obviously I wanted to resend it to her so I decided I wanted to vlog, vlog this today because I am literally a day or two away from finishing so I wanted to document it with you guys uh, that process because it's been a long time coming me working on this novel and finishing it and um, in the next you know few months there's gonna be a lot of talk about between us and I'm really excited like I am going to be sharing the cover reveal with you guys I am going to be uh, creating a form, a sign-up form for everybody to sign up if you want to receive an advanced reader copy. I am going to be sharing all the things about the release. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Right now, what I'm actually getting ready to uh, do is I'm working on the back blurb because I did write a back blurb, but I changed it because obviously some things change in the story and it no longer match. So I needed to fix that and I am using the save the cat um, outline to write the the uh, back blurb so I'll be sharing a little more about that with you guys so right now let's just get back to work as far as writing this and um, doing the black the back blurb <laughs> and uh, finishing those edits so let's go so like I said, what I'm doing is using the Save the Cat method to write the summary, the back cover of the book. So they essentially say that it should be three paragraphs. The first paragraph should include the setup, the flawed hero, and the catalyst. And this should be around two to four sentences. Then paragraph two should have the break into two and the fun and games part of the novel, basically what the novel is truly about. And then paragraph three should have the theme stated and the midpoint hint or the all is lost moment, basically an ending or cliffhanger, and this should be around two to three sentences. This was not something simple to do. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually rewriting the outline that I had done on the rewrite onto the journal because I really wanted to get really clear on these beats that I'm supposed to include in the summary so I wanted to be real clear on my setup the flawed hero and the catalyst I wanted to make sure I had my break into two 
and that I mentioned the fun and games because originally I didn't mention the fun and games when I had written the first um, when I first wrote the cover the back cover I did not include anything about the fun and games so people don't really get a sense of basically the setting or what the story is about other than these two individuals so it was really important for me to mention these things uh, this time around and then I kind of stated the theme. I'm still struggling with that a little bit. So that's what I'm doing now. I just really wanted to get clear on all the beats of the novel. All right, you guys, I've been working on this for a little bit of an hour and a half now on this um, back blurb and it's so hard like it's so hard to just convey an 80,000 word manuscript into this small summary so I'm struggling but I think I'm almost done I will share it with you guys when at the end of the video or shortly I don't know when I'm gonna share it but as soon as I'm done I will share it with you guys and I would love for you guys to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of it so I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on it's almost noon, it's almost lunchtime, but I just wanna to try to just get to it. So let's get back to it. Okay, so I did not finish it. <laughs> I keep playing around with it. I may, I have not even written, it's been two hours and um, now I'm gonna go to lunch because I'm so hungry. Go to lunch, I'm walking in my kitchen. But yeah, I cannot finish this back blurb, but I will finish today. And I was hoping I could finish writing today, but I haven't even written anything today because I've been writing this summary all day. So if anything, I'll write tonight. But anyway, right now it's lunchtime, so let's go. Okay, so after lunch, I got back to it and I started playing around with it. And uh, you guys, I don't know if this is the final one. I really want your opinion. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about it. But this is basically what I have right now. And I don't know, let's see. Conformist Emma Clark is a fifth grade teacher who's been reliving the same humdrum routine with her three best friends since college. After much reflection, she's sure of what needs to change, her routines and her job. Plus, she wants to return to writing, which is something she gave up after losing her parents. Her best friends are the only family she has. But since they seem content and they always have strong opinions, she's reluctant to express the transformation she desires for fear of being judged. But when she meets Danny Watkins, a charismatic but married man outside of a nightclub, she finally starts to live the unpredictable life she's been looking for. Danny Watkins is an overworked married businessman going through a nasty divorce. When he meets Emma, he's just embarked on a self-discovery journey, one that puts his needs above anyone else's. The last thing he's looking for is a relationship. Days after that fateful meeting, Emma starts to spend time with Danny by helping him restore the farmhouse he just purchased. At the same time, Danny provides emotional support by encouraging Emma's decision to be a writer and to become more of the person she yearns to be. As love unexpectedly grows between them, they sacrifice their core beliefs, friendships, and life for the sake of their love. Between us provokes us to ask the most heart-wrenching question of all, what are you willing to risk in the name of love? So there it is, that's the back cover uh, summary. Let me know what you think, if you love it, if you hate it, if you're confused, if you think it's just right. I just wanna know what you guys are thinking about it. And finally, I'm getting ready to do my writing session for the day, finally start getting those words down and I moved it into my bedroom.
Okay, so it is day two. Yesterday, the last thing I did was, you guys just saw, I was in bed writing, but I was really tired and my eyes were really tired. I did work on three chapters and that means I only have, let me see, one, two, three, four. Four chapters to go and I will be done and then it's off to the editor. So that is what we're doing right now, is finishing the next four chapters. So let's get going. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always putting my legs up. <laughs> it's just comfortable for me to work with my legs up like that. No matter what I'm doing, even if I'm like reading, I always have my legs up. Let me know also in the comments below if that's something that you guys do. And yeah, right now I'm just working through the chapters and it's going good so far. All right, just a little update. I am editing chapter 42 right now. I just finished chapter 41 and I'm writing it down on my journal. So this is the last chapter. I am so like, I feel like I could cry because this has been such a long time coming, you guys. I started this book, like I said, four or five years ago and I'm just excited that it's getting this close to being out into the world. Um, the editor just has to do a little bit of edits on it and I'll be finished. So let's hop back into the, vid the, the video, hop back in and finish the last chapter. Pose myself, put my hat on, my glasses on. My glasses are all dirty. Excuse me. <sighs> so, I'm gonna call you back. <sighs> so I just finished. And the reason I'm so emotional is because I started this novel four or five years ago. And I've done so many rewrites on it. Like, I wrote it before, while I was still in school, getting my degree. And then, as I learned about the, you know, with more about writing, I kept fixing it. And then, I discovered um, another way of outlining. And I did do a little bit of an outline with index cards and such, but... Um, it wasn't like, uh, I, I guess I didn't fully understand how to outline because I was always a pantser. And then I finished the novel. I sent it out to the editor, got it back, finished it. And then I sent it out to agents, as you guys probably know. And if you don't know, I will leave the description to those videos and the, uh, the link to those videos in the description box below. And I had two agents interested in the novel and I felt in my eyes that I came really close to getting signed and getting representation, which is something that I was really looking forward to. But then when the, they didn't, um, 
offer representation, I decided to self-publish. I had done it before and I was really excited about it and I was fine because I wanted to just go, I just wanted to get the novel out there. So I formatted the novel, I uploaded it to KDP because I wanted to get a physical copy of the book so I could read it. And where is the book? I don't even know the book is. Hold on. Where's the book? Oh, here. I can't show you guys the, the cover, but this is what ended up happening when I got the proof. And this was, these are all the edits I did on the novel when I started reading it. And based off of um, everything that I had learned from Save the Novel, the no Between Us didn't work for me. I just felt like it wasn't as strong as it should be. And I decided to rewrite it again. And over the holiday between November and December, I wasn't writing at all because I just didn't know how I was going to do it. I just, I felt blocked and I just, I didn't know how I was going to finish it. And then suddenly I started with my practice again of just really dedicating myself to wellness as far as meditating and just really visualizing and just doing all the things that I know that would return me back to a place of hope and I did it and then I decided to <clears throat> that I was just going to do it that I knew it was going to be harder in my head than it actually was to sit down and do it so when I finally sat down to do it I mean, it only took a little bit, to, a little bit of time to just sit down and get it done and review it. And once I did the outline with Save the Cat, I realized that I wasn't as off as I originally thought I was. I just needed to make small changes and I did. And here we are, January 10th and I'm done. And now it's off to the editor. And now the book is going to be released in March. Next week's video, I'm going to share with you the cover of Between Us because it's time. Um, anyways, I hope this video served as inspiration and motivation. I hope that I inspired you in some way to not give up on your dream, to not give up on that novel, that if you have it in your heart, that you should definitely follow it and continue and go for it. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it inspirational, then um, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your writerly friends because I'm sure they also need a little bit of inspiration and motivation from time to time. And remember to subscribe on your way out. Until next time, stay safe.